I ask for consent very forwardly because that's how I wish people would do it to me. So I just say like, hey, can I give you a hug? Or hey, can we do this? Hey, is it all right if I hug you? I hope you can come, but there's no pressure at all. Hey, is this okay? I wish people asked for consent to share my personal information or details about me. When they just did normal everyday things. When they want to hug me or touch my hair or touch my nails. When they take photos. When you're dumping a lot of intense emotional information or other intense stuff when you're talking to your friends. The most looked over part of consent is the non-sexual consent that we see in everyday lives. And making boundaries clear to those who are in your direct or um, distant family because even if it's your uncle, your grandparents, whoever, they can still ask for consent and you can still accept or deny their offer. Consent can be revoked at any point regardless if you are in a relationship with that person or if you've said yes to that person before. Power and privilege comes to role in consent is that it creates insecurities within someone's decision whether to say no or to say yes. People who have a lot of power um, tend to put underprivileged people into situations where they just are unable to express general consent for a lot of different things. If you hold a position of power, it's your responsibility to be making sure that you're always getting true consent and not using any coercion to get people to do what you want them to do. Nonverbal consent is something that would be really hard to effectively give without verbalizing it at least once. There is a lot of room for misinterpretations or miscommunications, so when in doubt, I think it's always best to be verbal. It's also important to remember that not everyone communicates with words, so just communicate with people the way that they're comfortable with and able to. When people ask for my consent for non-sexual things, it actually makes me feel very respected and like my thoughts and opinions matter. It A, reaffirms that they respect me, and B, reaffirms that they respect my boundaries if I choose to say yes or no to them. It creates a more safer um, environment within uh, what you may be dealing with uh, within a situation. It's just always a good reminder to make sure that I'm always asking for consent in situations where it's needed. I pledge to implement my knowledge of consent into a classroom environment. I pledge to ask for consent before posting any photos or videos of people. I pledge to hold the people in my life accountable when it comes to consent along with myself and I pledge to always do what I can to support survivors and victims. When do you pledge to ask for consent? 